I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com. Look, every night we watch the same shows, Fast Money and Mad Money, and we want to use those ideas to grow our money, right? Well, good trading takes more than just pushing the buy button the next morning on the stocks you saw last night. I'm here to help you make money on these three stocks I saw on TV. Okay, uh, we're going back to Apple here, and the reason is pretty simple. Um, David Tepper of Appaloosa Capital Management uh, was... Uh, the information came out on CNBC on Friday that they have liquidated all of their holdings in Apple. And the reason isn't really, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, the reason isn't important. The level that they reduced isn't important. What is important is that they cut their Apple stake to zero. Same thing with Carl Icahn. So here's the deal, and this is just really simple. If you're just doing a zigzag here, then it's time to buy Apple right up here. I'm just suggesting not to do that. And the reason is because the stock is under liquidation. Um, it's not like it's any news to anybody anymore. So my bet is that if the stock starts rallying a bit into the mid 90s, you're gonna get just that many more shares being liquidated by folks who were buying into the whole uh, value story. So just stay away from Apple, do you short it? You know, I, I had a short on Apple for a while and I got shaken out. I just don't have the confidence um, to short a stock that is still loved by so many people just because they're walking all over the place with their iPhones bumping into things while they're texting. Uh, not compelling enough for me. Now, Valiant Pharmaceuticals. Um, again, David Tepper. So the news comes out after the market that uh, Tepper bought a, a pretty sizable stake in Valiant Pharmaceuticals, which I'm sure made um, Bill Ackman happy because Ackman's got like more than you could possibly sell. Um, he's up to the gills. So then, then here's the deal. Then later on, it came out that, oh, well, he's, he's already sold it. So this guy was basically day trading, it seemed like to me. Here's my point. Folks want to buy Valiant. I mean, how do you really, if you're, how do you stay away from a stock or at least take it off your radar screen if it's gone down 90% and it's in the news all the time? Here's my suggestion. If you're dipping a toe into this thing, you need to keep a stop just below Thursday's intraday low of 23.55. So what does that put you if you're buying the stock right now? 6%. So give it like a 7% stop or something like that. But this is a nimble day trade. I, I wouldn't make it, to be quite honest with you, but what I'm doing is I'm just showing you this weekly chart, showing you that this stock could be about 26 bucks above support. Uh, and I'm not kidding about that. I mean, a stock like this, just uh, wouldn't it be nice for Ackman if this was Herbalife's chart, but it's not. So if you're taking this for a trade, that's fine. If you want to short it, that's a tough short. Okay. J.C. Penney, the CEO, was on uh, CNBC talking about the, you know, mall stores, the retail department stores, and he was saying like, hey, you know what? The buyers still out there. They're still spending money. There's just too many stores. So yes, there'll be some consolidation. Some will shut down this and that. But the buyers still out there. You know, that's that's a little bit like Tim Cook saying how optimistic he is on China when everybody else knows that it's not right to be optimistic on China. It's called talking your book. So with the J.C. Penney guy, let's look at the weekly chart. This has been banging out a base for quite a while. I don't see... I don't see a trade here. I don't see an investment here. All you have to do is look at some of these others. I mean, J.C. Penner's actually looks like the best of them. Um, that's the one I wanted to get. Um, Kohl's. So these are all, I mean, if we could just go on. Um, how about this one? Okay. So all of these things are really cratering. I think J.C. Penney's. I wouldn't call it the best of the bunch. I would just highlight this. The stock is still trending lower. Maybe it's going to catch some bids here. But if it were me, there's one retail store I'd buy. Because this is actually where all the folks are that are buying 
uh, retail stuff. They're buying it online. Hey, I just spent 200 bucks today and I forget what I bought. Okay, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at Stock Market Mentor. I'll see you next time.